In this video tutorial, I will talk about AwareAIM deployment, answer some frequently asked questions, look at the AwareAIM configuration options, and some common startup problems. First, I will talk about AwareAIM deployment options and answer some frequently asked questions. We're being asked very often whether AwareAIM applications can be deployed on the internet, in the cloud, on a local machine, or on a company intranet. The answer is yes. AwareAIM applications can be deployed pretty much everywhere, on the internet or intranet, in the cloud, or on a local machine. The approach is the same everywhere. All you need to do is install AwareAIM, either on an internet host, or on a company server, or on a local machine. Then you just run the AwareAIM control panel, And that's it. The only difference will be in the URL that the users will use to log into your application. On the internet or in the cloud, the users will use the name of the internet server in the URL. On the intranet, they will use the name of the network server. And on a local machine, they will use localhost. It is obvious how you install a where I am on the local machine or on the company's server. You just run the installation program on the target machine. But how do you install it on the remote host in the cloud? Very much the same way. But you need to remember that not every remote host is suitable. You need a dedicated server or a virtual server, but you cannot use a shared server where you do not have full access to the server itself. Most hosting companies nowadays provide the appropriate servers though. You can easily rent a virtual or dedicated server from Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Rackspace, GoDaddy, and many other hosting providers. When you do, you will be given an IP address of the server by your hosting provider, and you will be able to connect to the server using some remote interface, for example, a remote desktop connection. Here, for example, I'm running a remote desktop connection to such a server. As you can see, the remote user interface to the server is exactly the same as on your local machine. So you just install and run a where I am in the same way as you would do this on your local machine. Your users will log in using the IP address of your remote server. For example, this URL. You can then map this address to something more readable, if you like. So it is that simple. Another question we're being asked very often is whether anything else is needed to run AwareAIM applications across the internet. For example, many people ask if they need the Apache server or Internet Information Server to run AwareAIM. The answer is no. You do not need any other software. All you need is install and run a where I am on your hosting server or on your company server that has a fixed IP address and your applications will be available across the internet all over the world. You can install a where I am on any Windows system, on any Macintosh machine or on any Linux server. You can use any database, MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle or the default Derby database that comes with a where I am. It is also important to remember that AwareAIM is not a code generator. It does not generate code for your application that you can then modify. You create an application using the AwareAIM configuration tool and then you run the application using the AwareAIM runtime environment. So there is no need for you to know any programming language. However, if you do want to make your hands dirty, and perform some low-level programming, you can extend your application by adding plugins written in Java or JavaScript. Let's now look at some common problems that occur when you start a where I am. As you know, you start a where I am by starting the where I am control panel. A where I am consists of two components, a where I am server and Tomcat. There is also the configuration tool, but it hasn't been started yet. 
a where I am server and Tomcat are both started when you start the where I am control panel. When each of them is started successfully, you see the active and functional message next to each component. And then a where I am displays this big green message, a where I am is active. So when you see this message active and functional next to each component, everything is good and you can run the configuration tool or log into your application using the browser. Let's see what can go wrong. The most frequent problem is that some of the TCP IP ports that Aware I am requires are used by other applications. Most frequently this happens with port 8080 used by Tomcat. Let's see what happens in this case. Here I have deliberately started another version of Tomcat that now uses port 8080. So if we start where I am now, you can see that Tomcat wouldn't start. There is a process finish message displayed. If we click on the view button next to the Tomcat entry, we can see the detailed diagnostics of what was happening there. We can see a range of exceptions here and the error message in the first exception complains about port 8080. This is an indication that this port is used by some other application, in our case another version of Tomcat. So what can we do? Quite often the problem is caused by the fact that the previous version of, of AwareIM is still running and the port is used by AwareIM itself. Maybe AwareIM wasn't shut down properly or you are already running AwareIM as a service. To check this, shut down the AwareIM control panel and look at the task manager for processes that start with Java and Java W. If you have them, it is possible that these are some older where I am processes and you can just kill them and start again. Be careful though, because these Java processes may be some other processes that have nothing to do with the where I am. You can also try rebooting if in doubt. In my case, it is definitely a where I am processes, so I can just kill them. It is also possible that the problem has nothing to do with the old version of a where I am running, but there is some other application that is using this port. In this case, you have two options. Find the application that is using the port and shut it down, or get a where I am to use a different port. I will explain how to reconfigure a where I am to use a different port. So if there is a problem related to port 8080, we can click on the settings button and change Tomcat to use a different port here. For example, port 8085. However, we need to remember to also change the port in the standard URL used to lo log in to AwareIM applications. So if we change the port to 8085, we should also change the login URL to the following one. Note that the port is now 8085. There are some other ports used by Tomcat that can cause port conflict problem these are ports 8005 and 8009. If there is some other application using one of these ports, you will have an error message similar to the one you get for port 8080. This is the message for port 8005, for example. From this message, you will know which port is causing the problem. The strategy for addressing the problem is similar. If it is caused by another version of a where I am running, kill this version and restart. Or if it is used by some other application, you can find the application and shut it down. 
However, if you want to reconfigure a WRM to use a different port, you cannot do this from the WRM control panel. Instead, open the file WRIM Tomcat conf server.xml Search for 8005 and then replace this port with some other number and save the file. Note that on the Macintosh machine the directory is located here. The port conflict problem can happen with the AwareIM server as well. The ports used by the AwareIM server are 9000 and 61616. So if they are used by some other application, you will have a very similar problem. The strategy for addressing the problem is the same. If you need to reconfigure where I am to use a different port, you can do it by clicking on the settings button and changing the values here. Another class of common startup problems is problems related to the database connectivity. This mostly applies to the SQL Server, MySQL and Oracle databases, not to the default Darby database that comes with the where I am. Usually problems with the database connectivity boil down to the following. Incorrect database settings specified in a where I am, such as database username or password or the port where the database listens for requests or incorrect configuration of the database itself. This mostly applies to the SQL Server database. Usually when there is a problem with the database connectivity, you have an error message that a WRIM cannot create databases it requires. Let me show you. Here I have deliberately created an incorrect database configuration. When I start a where I am, I get this message that a where I am is unable to create or locate the databases it requires. The actual cause of the problem can be traced in the output of the where I am server if you click on the view button here next to the where I am server entry. So we have an exception and a detailed message which explains what the problem is. In this example, a wrong port is specified for the SQL Server database. If you cannot interpret the message here, ask where I am support and send the contents of this window. Quite often though, the problem is straightforward and you can address it by changing database settings in the where I am control panel. Click on the settings button here and select the database tab. Then change your database settings in this particular case, it's the wrong port. It has to be 1433. Sometimes, though, the problem is related to an incorrect configuration of the database itself. For example, in order for a where I am to connect to the SQL Server database, the SQL Server should be set up to accept SQL Server authentication rather than Windows authentication only. It should also be configured to allow TCP IP connections. Note that this is usually disabled by default and to enable it you need to start the SQL Server Configuration Manager. For details see this article here. And another class of startup problems is problems related to the lack of memory. It is important to understand that AwareIM will not automatically use all the memory available on the machine where it is running. So even if your machine has lots of free memory, you can run into memory problems. Each AwareIM component, such as the AwareIM server, Tomcat and the configuration tool, will only use as much memory as you allocate for it. Memory allocation can be changed if you click on the settings button and here you can allocate memory to different AwareIM components. The amount of memory you allocate depends on the size and details of your applications. The more memory you allocate the better, but if total free memory of the machine is limited, 
Then we recommend that you allocate most memory to the AWRAM server. 512 MB for this server will run well for most applications, but larger applications may need 1 GB or more. 256 or 512 MB setting for Tomcat should be adequate for most applications, unless you have a huge number of concurrent users. The default setting of 64 MB for, for the configuration tool should be adequate for most applications. For very large ones, you may increase it up to 256 or more. How do you know if you have memory problems? Well, if you have a crash, look at the output of every component by clicking on the View button next to each component. And if you see the out of memory messages there, then you need to increase memory allocation for this component. This is probably all about common startup problems. If you have a different problem, please send a report to a where I am support and attach the contents of the output windows for each component.